sometimes. Uh, with the the freedom you kind of get from a comic book setting compared to like TV or movies, um, what era of Power Rangers do you think would benefit the most? Like for instance, I think that you know something like Power Rangers SPD would probably be, you know, a whole cop story. They could go out into space under the being secluded to Earth, stuff like that. So, what do you think would be the best era for a comic book? I'm gonna selfishly say. I'm a big in space fan. Like this yeah. is like uh, would love to revisit that era. Um, again, just for my own selfish interests and, and revisit some of the bigger mysteries from in space. Um, if we, yeah, <laughs> you know, if we're ever so lucky, I mean I I truthfully I'd love to tell the story of the Phantom Ranger. Um, <laughs> Course, just because the obviousness of it. Hello, <laughs> Back to the Future. Great. Thank you. Come get a, come get a gift. Hey, what's your name? How are you doing? My name is JD. Um, first off, I just wanted to say thank you guys for caring so much because you can tell like, when you read it as a fan and you see all the deep cut references and stuff like that, it really you know, satisfies me. Like the pink series, the main series, the annual. But um, I was pretty much going to ask the same thing as the previous, like, which season would you, you know, or do you prefer your, your favorite season? So I guess for the people who didn't answer, like, which seasons are your favorites and what would you like to see? Like, were there any specific characters or perhaps the Turner and see get a solo series, like maybe like the Gold Ranger or like Sane or something, like someone who was off doing their own thing? Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the original. Um, that's really my favorite. Um, however, I was going to say after, just one of the cool things about comics is like, it's, you don't have to worry about like movies and TV budgets. Like, like you know, we said in the Alan and Sarah and I, we get paid the same whether we're making a scene where they're flying in space uh, in a sword or they're like sitting having smoothies in a grove. Like, it's the same budget. Like, so we don't have to worry about like, oh man, it's going to look bad if you want to tell a story in space and you have to make these like giant space swords. Like, it's it's budget wise we can tell these stories for you know and they, they'll look brilliant they're not going to look cheesy um or like bad or we don't worry about the budget of like making it the story look good so i think i think we well, be honest, we could do some <laughs> of those stories of um, my I, my dream if i got to write whatever i wanted after we got the really good like older story like i want a young reader repulsive story I want to write it so bad. I want to know. Like, I want to make it into a Disney girl. I'm in 2018. <laughs> I'll sign it right now. I'll schedule it in right now. Uh, we are we are running tight on time, but does anyone else want to toss out anything for that before we move on to the next question? I already talked about my gold art mini series. <laughs> so. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, come get a prize. Thank you. Let's see if we can burn through like maybe two or three questions before we're done. So uh, in the annual, we got a little bit of a slice of life from Jason's perspective, which was really, really cool. And having a time where they're just living their lives and how Green Ranger affects their lives. Are we going to start to see any more of that kind of slice of life thing work their way into either series of the comic? I get you're only like have a limited amount of space with Pink, but it'd be great to just be able to see more of that off time to help develop the character. Are you guys thinking into the film that You guys want to see it? Yeah. yeah. Then so it shall be. Yeah. Next question. <coughs> My name is William, and I came here a bit late, so I don't know if you have talked about this, but will we see any of the other Rangers from the first three seasons, like Aisha, Adam, and Rocky? Uh, I hate to be this person. Keep reading. <laughs> <laughs> we spoiled so much. We're not going to spoil more. <laughs> <laughs> that, they're my favorite. Awesome. You're not the only one, man. Come get a come get a gift. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We do think about it a lot. Would love to tell something about Rita Repulsa. Uh, definitely would love to revisit Zordon's history in a very meaningful
meaningful way, uh, keep reading. When does the pink series take place? Because I noticed she only recruits uh, Zach and Trini and not Jason. Uh, so this is definitely a question that's come up on Ranger Board as well, and people are freaking out because it doesn't quite fit the timeline, and there's something, rest assured, it's all gonna be okay, and it's all going to work. Um, and the reason why you haven't seen um, Jason is because he's doing his own thing. And we might be, we might be seeing that. <laughs> That's alluded to in the first issue. Zordon very explicitly says he's unavailable at this time, right? So, cool question. It's all gonna work. We're gonna see more of our brother Jason. Kathleen doesn't want to say it again, but keep reading. <laughs> yeah, come up with a gift. Sorry, guys, we're out of time. Uh,